Hi, welcome to the Apartment Rouge. Uh, my name is Sabna Rosnick, that's spelled S-A-B-N-E-R-A-Z-N-I-K, and I live in Elkhorn City, Kentucky. I'm so excited to be doing this feature for you guys this week. What an amazing privilege. Thank you so much, Kai. Here is my hand, everybody, and Kai. <laughs> um, I'm doing this feature because I just released a new chat book. Yeah, and I'm trying to support it a little bit. And it's called Dreaming of Bono. And there's a whole psychology behind it. Uh, basically, U2 had just released their um, Songs of Experience album. I almost lost the title of the album. And Bono said he wrote it as letters to people he cared about in the wake of a health emergency, right? Uh, but what it came across to me as a fan before I knew about that was uh, it felt like almost like he was preparing the fan base for when one of them passes because they are getting older for when one of them passes and U2 is no longer a thing and we can't get new music from them anymore and stuff which you know if you're a hardcore U2 fan you understand how that would be where it would be like oh my gosh you know uh similar I suppose to when Elvis died maybe I don't know maybe not that bad but pretty pretty close but anyway it felt like he was preparing us for that and I started having dreams about Bono and so I decided to write the dreams down and at first I started writing them kind of abstractly so that you couldn't tell that I was writing about a dream and you couldn't tell that it I was writing about Bono, right? I was very abstract with it. But over time, I got more direct in the way I wrote the poems, uh, wrote the dreams down so that you can tell that it's about Bono and all that stuff. And basically, what I was doing was working through some personal psychology. I guess you could call it inner child work. And that comes out through the book as well. And maybe that, that, um, moving from the abstract, writing them down abstractly to more directly. I think that was part of it. Um, you can get this book from Voicelux, um, voicelux.wordpress.com, and for the month of May and June, the, the chat book itself is free, but for the month of May and June, if you donate to the publisher through the, the publisher's Venmo or PayPal, which is listed on the website, uh, I will get that as the poet that wrote the book. Now, the book will continue to be available even after that. And if you can't afford a donation, that's fine. You can still get the book. But for May and June, I'm the poet who receives the donations, right? Because I'm the featured chat book for those two months. Uh, pardon the noise in the back. It's my dehumidifier and that ain't a thing I can do about it because it's summer. So the dehumidifier is going to run more. Or at least we are into summer weather now. Anyway, the first poem. This is not about you. This is one of those poems that I wrote in a more abstract way. Okay, this is not about you. I try to remember you, to see the future, to ground. I reach out with both hands. Are you listening now? Feeling seasick, adrift, buffeted in this long effort, desperate push, counting steps, no refuge, no release, screaming seagulls, worn rage is blowing, mind the water, where are we going? Meath, some shyly defined name on a map alongside scree of city lights, is it safety, a gathering on the lee of disaster, but who will survive, who breathe, who clean up my debris? Car wheels screech and strain, bending and careening, laws of physics shivering, island of poets, dry drowning. Do you remember me? See the future aground? Do you reach out with both hands? I am listening now. Uh, I want to... There it is. In the name of love, this is one of the poems that I wrote more directly. And, of course, you can tell the title comes from one of their songs, right? One of their most famous songs. There's also another part in the poem where there's a reference to another song. It, the lyrics I use actually come from two different U2 songs. One is on the Songs of Innocent, Innocence album. 
but where I pulled it directly from is from the Songs of Experience album where they kind of did a, re a reprise. You know how they'll do that in theater? They kind of did a reprise of the song on the Songs of Innocence album, pulled some of the same lyrics into a different song and made it an entirely different song called 13 There Is A Light, uh, which is a beautiful song. And I pulled the pulled these lyrics from that song and put it into this poem. In the name of love. I'm afraid, but I know you are too. Storms are screaming over this black sea of life. Your shadow supports me from behind as our tiny vessel sinks and my hope heavy in my hands like what sound like wet sand weighs down my soul's pockets and washes out. You sing Hold on Hold on, there is a light, don't let it go out. Gasping, and together we push back against waves with our bare hands, there is sadness in our will. The courage of the noble righteous doomed to defy and defy until defiance kills us because we must. If only for those who lack the strength to fight. There is no moon. There is just water and more cold, salted water. You are not sure anymore. Love keeps you singing. That's all now and that's enough. Sputtering, you clasp my shoulders firmly and with fondness you pull me under. I surrender to your hold, giving, even in death, your body a floating raft for other life, silenced yet forever singing hope. Dawn spears horizon spray. Uh, yeah, you can see where I was already starting to work through things, right? This is called Home is Where the Hurt Is, which is a lyric which is pulled from the original version of Walk On from All That You Can't Leave Behind album. Um, they recently redid Walk, Walk On and rewrote all the lyrics, I think, to support Ukraine. I'm not a political person, but now they are, so yeah. And... Um, it's not that I'm not interested in what goes on in the world. I am. I'm more interested in the human stories of what happens, though, and less about the politics of it all. Um, but that's where that's pulled from. Home is where the hurt is. Is from the original version of Walk On from the All That You Can't Leave Behind album. This poem uh, mentions Allen Ginsberg and Seamus Heaney. And it also uses... Uh, you know how in the U.S. we call our father daddy? Well, in Ireland, you call your father da. Generally, da. Okay, so. Home is where the hurt is. I watch you wipe your hands, then your mouth. You're saving your voice. Two and a half hour shows almost every night for four months are taking their toll. Honey and lemon tea and something that looks like a CPAP machine keeps you going. You're reading Ginsburg again, with copies of Seamus Heaney collections in your lap meant as gifts wherever the plane lights next. You are careful to send Guinness ahead of you. I sit in the near silence, engines grunting under our feet, wishing you could see me here, knowing if you could, you probably wouldn't like me much. But that is the way with parents and children. You don't know you raised me, <laughs> but you did. Children learn, but in the end, choose for themselves which aspects of the parent's example to follow and which to disregard or even rebel against. And the tension of so much alike breeds, di yeah, that's right, I read that right. And the tension of so much alike breeds disappointment, dislike, disagreement, estrangement, felt but never shown respect. But how exactly does that awkwardness translate when Da doesn't know he is Da? When the child is a perfect stranger, another face in the heaving sea of faces answering your cues for sing-alongs and lingering after the rest have departed and your crew is dismantling the stage. When the relationship is necessarily one-sided. At this moment, in the in-between air of gig after gig, you look wearier than any camera has ever seen you. You are fingering the phone in your pocket, eager for touchdown, itching to call home because you finally made one for yourself but I'm still searching for mine um, yeah definitely some inner child work going on here I'm scrolling down to the next poem sorry <laughs> I'll get there 
that's another thing about ebooks. You can't just turn pages, right? Or just have markers and then flip. You have to scroll. There's no other way. Okay, this one is called Too Much. Room is tinny, childlike, a music box. High pitched notes from a distance in your voice, exhausted, thin, but still velvet on skin. Behind an unseen door down a nearby corridor, it's late. And I steady myself on the first sturdy object to hand. Under my fingers, your replaced black shirt, wet with show sweat. I recoil and lean against cold backstage wall, listen to echoes of fan squills and raucous after party, but I grew up in semi-dark, semi-quiet, alone in a crowd, muted and blue. I don't know how to say this. Sometimes you're not enough. When I don't recognize the world I live in and loneliness reminds that it is and always has been my best friend, when the world is alien and you are too much of it. Yeah. <laughs> this is called Swallow Me Suddenly. And this will be the last poem I read. Swallow Me Suddenly. Words have power that must be honored. Choose them with care, Heaney said. Another reference to Seamus Heaney. Repeating the profound adage of the North, meaning North of Ireland, whatever you say, say nothing. But you and I are not taciturn and reticent by nature, even when it would be wise. <laughs> our mouths, like our souls, demand to be open, raging with fire, a double-edged light burn, and when the rage subsides and the last embers die, cold dark will announce the undeniably the need we filled with our jabbering recklessness. I have learned silence is just as deadly as a misplaced word. I was never graceful. That tightrope dance between caution and expression is not one I can master. You have gone comparably quiet quiet with age. I expect silence to catch me, not by slow degrees, as it is swallowing you, but suddenly and whole. So, again, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you guys tonight as a feature that's I'm just amazed and so thankful and I do feel the privilege keenly. Um, again, you can grab the book at um, Word... Um, Voice Lux, V O I C E L U X, Voice Lux dot WordPress dot com. And for May and June, if you leave a donation, it will come to me. Uh, if you're not able to leave a donation, that's fine. Enjoy the book. That's it's just there. It's for everybody to enjoy. And um, I hope you have enjoyed the poems today. I love sharing poise et joie and basking in it myself too. <laughs> and I hope I hope you have enjoyed this too and I know I will enjoy uh, listening to all the other readers this evening. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this and don't I go hunt till we meet again.